So I guess yeah, we don't really have a good intro, but this is uh, this is the Heads Up podcast. I'm I'm Sean. Uh, I'm Jeff. Right. Okay. So yeah. That's yeah. you want me to jump. Yeah, in I'm there. gonna want. Yeah, yeah. You should jump in a little earlier instead of having a nice long awkward pause. <laughs> I'll edit you know, that. It's a, it's a, no, don't edit it out. No, I think you should leave it so that we can we can keep this conversation. To try to make it just like we're casually having a conversation in front of other people. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. I'm Jeff. Oh. Got it. Okay. You, no, you stepped on it. I was gonna edit that in. I didn't. I didn't step on it. I didn't. So we got it. We nailed it. That's perfect intro. Amazing. Yeah. You want just you want just copy and paste that for the every other every intro. Yeah. 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 Okay. Timeless. Yeah. Classic. What are we What are we talking about today? We're gonna talk about. Well, of course, we're gonna check in on Kyle. Of course, of course, we're checking on Kyle. I mean, the world wants to know. <laughs> everybody has been asking me nonstop about Kyle since our last episode. And by everybody, yeah. I mean nobody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody's asked me uh, how Kyle's doing lately. But I think all the people who would ask know Kyle, and they can just ask him. That's right. That's right. But I think the world deserves to be caught up on Kyle. That's now, after we, after we talk about Kyle, we're going to talk mm-hmm. a little bit about Halloween. Tis the season, unless you, you're listening you to this a- months later. Yeah. And then yeah, it, but- it won't be. And then, and then after that, we're going to get into some candy. Some good, good candy that everybody loves. I, we're going to save what candy does as a surprise. The candy's yeah. a surprise. It's a little present from us to you at the end. Yeah, I'd, to you, I'd the love listener. to. Yeah. Yeah, I cannot wait for your thoughts on this candy. Good. I can't wait to have them. Well, before we talk about Halloween, oh, let's yeah. check in on our friend Kyle in our first segment called Kyle's Click. The internet gave us a whole world of exciting new possibilities. So I guess this is a story of how it changed our lives. Maybe it will yours too. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Jeff, why don't you, could you tell me, are you on Facebook? Are you looking at this page here? I am on, on Facebook and I am scrolling right through his page. Just what is, feverishly. What's, what's this, what's this, uh, let's, what's the top thing he's talking about here? What's the, what's the most recent post he's made? He seems to be reacting to either a policy that's in place or a policy that somebody wants to put out there dealing with cutting taxes. In order um, to create jobs. In order to create jobs. He seems to think cutting taxes does not create jobs, apparently. Right. I just what this looks like to me is that Kyle uh, sort of live Facebooked the most recent presidential debate mm. Mm. for sorry just so everybody's clear for president of the United States of America just in case like I don't know I don't know if your local auto zone has a presidential race going on like president of the local auto zone is that a bad example does auto zone have a president <laughs> I don't know they must any, any company won't run that well must have a president. I don't, I, you know, this, but, I mean, this, this status mm. cause doesn't really grab me. And, and for someone who we are assuming live Facebooked this debate, there was only three posts, two, if we're counting during the time the debate happened, just two. Well, you should make them more interesting. I don't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. I didn't watch and will not watch the debates. I already know who I'm voting for. Tom Brady. Yeah. I would like him to have a seventh term as president. Mm. As long as good mm. old, as long as good old Papa John, v- VP. VP PJ. That's what I always say. A pizza in every home. That's his promise. Is it? I haven't listened <laughs> yeah. to his platform. <laughs> Cutting pizza creates jobs. I just I just think that Tom Brady and Papa John are a nice looking couple. You know, I think I think the, the people, the youth of today need to see that. Yeah. Uh, what's they're Kyle's they're next? So let's handsome. just let's just we've done we've done a lot of talking about Papa John last time, I feel like. So his next one, uh, I mean, yeah, apparently, you know, they asked the candidates what the process would be for them to select a Supreme Court justice. And Mm -hmm. Kyle summarizes Trump, Donald Trump's response. Now, yeah, he summarized Donald Trump's response. Now, I know you didn't watch the debate. I I did, and I can tell you that um, Kyle's use of quotes there, Uh not, not appropriate. Not appropriate. Yeah, this is not an actual quote, right? That's not a quote. That's that's like the gist of the first minute of what he what he said. Okay. It's not actually yeah. a quote. Yeah, I mean, but, but you know, he's just trying to get some some likes here on Facebook. Yeah, like we're all trying to do. That's all you know. That's what really life is about. <laughs> just going, you know? going through life, getting them likes. Getting them likes. Do you think when you die, do you want them to put the num the total number of Facebook likes on my that tombstone? You got on your tombstone, yeah. They probably should. On, on your tombstone pizza. Um, 
tombstone. I'm very hungry. Right, sorry, okay, I had like a <laughs> breakfast bar to eat for lunch. I was at work. It's like five o'clock, almost six o'clock in the afternoon now. I, I'm hungry, so we're gonna talk a lot about food, just so everybody's aware. I'm, I'm ready. Do you want the number, the total number of Facebook life, uh, Facebook likes you got in your life? Yeah. And they'll they'll put like the date that you got onto Facebook, and then the date yeah. that you died. And I that, think yeah. we'll have to exclude the number you got after you died, right? Right, because people are going to like those posts a lot. Now, I'd like it to be more complicated than that. I'd like there to be an algorithm based on number of posts because I don't post that often. Mm. And there's people that are posting more frequently that might get one or two likes every post that would crush but me I in mean, likes. I feel like I feel like that's fair. They're putting in the time. <laughs> you're not. You know, they're, they they're get the, getting, they get their skin there. in the game. Every, <laughs> Every day they're out there. They're getting two likes, three likes, yeah. sometimes four. They're they're, I mean, they're out there up. hustling. <laughs> they're out there hustling. You got to get on your hustle, son. Sure. I mean, that makes me want to post uh, to Facebook more. But I mean, do you think you'd get uh, the number of hearts on your Instagram posts as well, or is it strictly well, Facebook I, I has okay. taken everything? Well, okay. I don't know how big you think a tombstone is. <laughs> I don't think you and I are going to get real lavish ones. Let's be honest. <laughs> I don't. Maybe you pick. Maybe you pick the social media mm. platform. Don't, You're okay. like, I thought I got a lot of play on Twitter. How many people? Yeah. How many retweets they changed you get? It, didn't they? it used to be favorite. Yeah. Or but it's love, the same symbol. Love? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, you I, use I, the same I, little or, bird. Or, yeah. Or heart retweets. I guess numbers. You could pick. Yeah. You could pick depending. Yeah. yeah. You could be like, I pick Twitter and I pick retweets. I was like, that's kind of a gamble, right? Yeah. I mean, especially. I'm much more prone to like a stat, a, a, a tweet, than I am to retweet it, unless it's really good. Yeah, but I mean, some people some people play the game. You know, that's the thing. They're out there every day. <laughs> They're hustling every day, Jeff. <laughs> uh, They're on that grind. So, uh, you know, uh, copyright. That's our idea. You can't steal it. We're gonna sell tombstones <laughs> coming soon to a graveyard near you. <laughs> yeah, we're in the we're in the tombstone business now. <laughs> yeah, we're tombstone men. Twizzlers, call us up. Let us know if you want to get on that tombstone game. <laughs> Are you just gonna pick on Twizzlers until they sue us? Is that? <laughs> is that? Pick on guess Twizzlers. what, Twizzlers? We got Papa John on our side. <laughs> I'm the one that likes Twizzlers. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I right. hate them. They're not yeah. gonna sue me. Okay. Yeah, they were disgusting candy. Yeah, I didn't like them. Let's let's go let's go before I say more stupid yeah. things uh-huh. about just freestyle associating. I'm I'm hungry enough that I either want to eat or want to die, which is why I thought mm. we're talking about social media gravestone. It's a whole. I don't want to get too deep into what I call the process. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But this, uh, is hung- this is hungry, Sean. Desperate man. Yeah. I'm sorry. There used to be, Jeff. You lived here when this happened mm-hmm. in the town that I still live in, and that Jeff and I both grew up in. There was mm-hmm. a pizza place called Hungry Four Pizza, and hungry. the four was the number four. The number four pizza. Yeah. And that's that's just a, what a shitty name for a pizza place. I don't want to like the place is out of business now. I think right. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to shit on their idea that died because they weren't good enough at it. But <laughs> why it's hard to kill a that? pizza place. It's hard, yeah. especially around here. There's like there's like consistently yeah. in this small town, four pizza places open all the time. I mean, you could have called it just Pizza Pizza, unless Little Caesars is going to go after you. You know what I mean? The why hungry, not just call the it, number four why not pizza. Why call it like, like, like Big Caesars? Big Caesars. <laughs> Big Caesars. <laughs> there's, there's Little Caesars, there's Regular Caesar, and then there's Big Caesars. Yeah, or like Jumbo <laughs> Caesar, you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to say the name was was what hurt them, but I, I, I didn't like it. And their pizza I never was had fine. their pizza, I don't think. My parents really liked their pizza, so I had it often enough. It's fine. It, was, it, it tasted like pizza. <laughs> Was this was this before or after uh, Brett's dad forbade anyone in his bloodline, <laughs> anyone related to him, from going to Gabby's? Did your parents hear that and then go, "Shit, we gotta change fucking pizza places"? I wish, yeah, no, no. Uh, <laughs> he he was on that pretty early, where he for- forbid us from having Gabby's. <laughs> um, so it was Golden. before Hungry for Pizza's time, but uh, we should we should we should have we should have him on the podcast. Yeah, he should have his own. I mean, <laughs> I think Mark should have. He should his own be podcast. crushing yeah. us, Brett. If you hear this, I want, I want, I want Sue and Mark to have their own podcast. They just talk about stuff, St- talking about stuff with Sue and Mark. Boom, just gave you. A title. Yeah, boom, perfect title. 
Perfect, perfect. Nailed it in one. Jeff, you can make the music. Brett can make uh, uh-huh. art. You know, the yeah. cover art. So the third thing on Kyle's Facebook here, mm-hmm. uh, he's got a post in N- to NPR. He linked to NPR um, approving of a move that Marco Rubio mm. made. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jeff, just remind me without double checking, who is Marco Rubio? Uh, he is a, he's a, he's a, he's a Republican from the okay. great state, um, same state that, that Flo Rida is from. Um, couldn't tell you. <laughs> don't know who that is. Don't, don't, don't Do know you, who that is. Don't couldn't explain. You, you couldn't help you. <laughs> uh, he was also a presidential candidate and famous thirsty person. Really? Yes. Yeah. Why was he thirsty? Uh, Is this an actual know, thing? I flat out don't know. You don't know? Oh, after uh, some other presidential debates um, previous, I think with one Mitten Romney and uh, Barack. Not his full name. Definitely. Obama. <laughs> Mitt, Mitt is not short for Mitten. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it's not. I, I w- the Wikipedia page will be updated tonight, so it, it, it is. Basically, it yeah. is. Yeah, good, good old warm hands Romney, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. After one of those, he was he was on the news talking mm-hmm. about it. Because you know how they do the, those spin things where people talk about how great whoever they thought one was? I'm familiar and with he, the popular media, yes. He spent uh, several minutes as talking, uh, licking his, his dry lips and reaching awkwardly for a water bottle and drinking out of it. Oh. Several different sips. And then he was known okay. for that for a while. Donald Trump brought it back by imitating him on stage once. It was great. Okay. Um, yeah. This doesn't really interest me either. I don't. <laughs> it's it's like WikiLeaks and Marco Rubio's mm-hmm. like apparently like next tomorrow it could be us. So don't so don't what don't rub it in the the opposition party's faces like. W- yeah, I'm not gonna read I the mean, article to find out. God forbid. God, yeah, Jesus. The headline was long enough. One says the whole thing he says, and uh, people act like it's amazing. So you obviously you've closed Facebook because you said you're yeah. done with it. I like that Kyle keeps me updated on politics. Yeah, I think Keeping I think you can jazz it up with maybe some uh, some gifts, you know, maybe throw. Yeah, if that if that Marco Rubio being thirsty thing was so important, maybe just mm-hmm. comment on your own post, little picture of him licking his dry dry lips and taking a sip <laughs> out of his Aquafina <laughs> or whatever, you know. Yeah, it was it was like one of those small plastic water bottles. It was it was hilarious. Oh, like a little tiny baby one. Yeah, it was. Li- but he took okay. like so many sips out of it, and it was like just off camera, and it was so awkward. It was great. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, no, you should. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. Kyle's yeah, post gave me the yawn. <laughs> no, it's not his post. It was. It was your explanation too. It was <laughs> too Kyle's long. Twitter. Mm-hmm. No transitions. No transitions. Yeah, Kyle's boom. Twitter. Kyle's Twitter boom. now. Twitter. Let's just let's just skim these and see if any are good. Oh, we're skimming. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know. What do you want to read these? Tweets are so long these days. <laughs> Yeah, the limit is 140 characters. You have to try to hit it each time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 right? <laughs> okay, here, look at this, look at this. He's got one that just uh-huh. says freaking out. Yeah, it also. Just says, it just says freaking out. Yeah. No, I, no capitalization, <laughs> no punctuation, freaking out. Yeah. Fucking A-plus so tweet. Uh, he has another tweet that just says yogurt. <laughs> and the tweet immediately preceding that one says every time. Wow. Now, it's worth noting that both uh-huh. of these tweets yep. capitalize the first letter as yes. though he were starting a sentence, but he then he do... does not complete the sentence or just put punctuation to let you know he's completed his thought. Yeah. Freaking out, though, he did not capitalize. Right, anything. exactly. Well, he didn't have time. He was freaking out. <laughs> I mean, that's it's sort of an empathy. I think Kyle is doing sort of a digital art project here. Yeah. Sort of at the the intersection between, like, Tweeting and language and how we perceive capitalization, mm. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really he's really the beat poet of our time. Is that what you're saying? You're gonna you're gonna see these tweets in the Met sometime, right? Yeah, yeah. Is I, uh, hold on, is the Met like a place where this would be displayed, or is that like uh, some sort of sports arena? You know, I don't know the difference, but I know there's a team called the Mets, and I would assume they would play at the Met, right? Why else would okay, they be called the, Me- the Mets? The Mets stands for the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It's short. It's just short for Met. Why would they know, name a baseball Met. team that? Well, so the 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 Met is apparently in Boston, or no, not this up? not in. <laughs> yeah, I did look it up. Yeah, I had to know. <laughs> it's, I couldn't it's have in, another. It's in New York, New York. 
I don't now. I now. I mean, they show me a map, and there's a bunch of different. Mm-hmm. I don't. Yeah, it's a, it's probably in New York. Let's just say it's in New York. Let's say it's I'm in New York. Looking it up. Let's just say it's in New York. The Met in New, New York. York. You know, he's gonna. You know, because like, do you know the famous poet E. E. Cummings? I've heard and laughed about that name several times. Yes. Okay. Okay. I figured you would have at least remembered that. Yeah. Uh, fa- I mean, he famously did not capitalize a lot of words in his poems, mm. but one that he like pretty much always capitalized was spring, like the season. Um, mm-hmm. So there's like when you're doing critical analysis, when people do analysis of his poems, like that's a thing that you talk about. I think Kyle's on some E.E. E. Cummings level shit here. Yeah. I mean, holy shit. Can we start calling Kyle the, the, the tweet tweet Cummings of our generation? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I think after we assemble a book of his tweets put together in, in poetry form and present it I'm to him. fucking into it. <laughs> We're doing that. I'm going to, um, that is my tomorrow. That is my entire tomorrow. I'm going through his entire tweet. Is it a called t- a timeline? Yeah, sure. I mean, is it? Are you just agreeing? You can't just agree. It's a timeline, yeah. I want to say it's a timeline. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go through his entire tweet timeline. I'm going to pull out just mm-hmm. these delicate little fucking fucking drops of wisdom he's throwing in here. Mm-hmm. Freaking out. Yogurt. <laughs> Every time. What do we do? We vote. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to, we'll, we'll present them individually, and then we'll present them as like a jumble, kind of like we'll just mix and match them to yeah. create poems. Oh, you know what we could also do is we could we could create a magnet set, you know that magnet poetry that's of all those tweets. Work, but yeah. we could and we will, and I can guarantee. <laughs> Heads up with Jeff and Sean dot com slash merchandise. Yeah, yeah. The, go there within a week. <laughs> we'll have everything up, no problem. We will. We will have acquired a domain, set up merchandise. It's gonna be so good. You guys are gonna so love it. Good. We're gonna have hats. To say tweet tweet Cummings of our generation, <laughs> man, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I, f- I feel like I should write that down, even though we're we're recording. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to lose that, and I want to say it every day of my life until yeah. I die. I, I want I, that. I want it in my. It's so good. <laughs> I'm so I, impressed with the words that I myself said, and I know how narcissistic that is, and I don't care. You know how like 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 uh, we have like the at. Heads Up Podcast is the mm-hmm. heads, at Heads Up Pod. I forget what one it is. Yeah, at Heads Up Pod. Yeah. Yeah. So how can you change the at something? Can I change the at something? I probably can. Yeah. You want me to change the tweet tweet comments? No I, <laughs> no, I don't. I want us to convince Kyle to change his to at tweet tweet Cummings. Okay. <laughs> I think it's going to be an undertaking. I don't think he's going to want to give up what his at is, which I want to say so bad, but I don't want to give out. That's fine. I think if we present him with a book of his tweets as poetry, I think we can convince him. I feel like I'm done with Kyle's Twitter now, too. <laughs> All right. So, so we're... I feel like I might be done with it forever after I go through it tomorrow, <laughs> but... It's always, he's always updating it, Sean. There's always going to be new things. Here's the thing, though. Once we show him mm-hmm. the book, he's going to be, like, self-conscious about it. Yeah. And, like, he's going to have... There's going to be the second book we put out, Do you think... which we are going to call Tweet Tweet Coming <laughs> Sophomore Work. Yeah. He is going to decline in quality because he's yeah. aware of it now and he's going to it's be true. trying it. Now, I was just assuming we were going to create a nice little book for him, but you're, you're, you're saying create the book and we're also going to sell it. Is that what's going on? Jeff, Tweet Tweet Cummings is going to be a national sensation. I get, <laughs> feel the fire. Can, All right. Do you not? This is... Do you think he'll be more or less uh, self-conscious about the book or that we talk about him on a podcast constantly? So let me tell you this. Uh, last week... Last Friday, I was playing Dungeons and Dragons, as mm-hmm, I do mm-hmm. on the internet with my friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Kyle plays. He's in that game, and he, he was available. Sometimes he has to work. Sometimes he can't play. And uh, they were asking about the microphone because my voice quality was a lot better. Mm-hmm. I got a new microphone for the for the podcast. Yeah. Um, and and I, I was explaining, like, oh, yeah, Jeff and I are going to – we're just kind of podcasting and recording stuff, playing around with it now. And uh, I forget who said – I think Kyle himself actually said I look forward to hearing it or, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, he said something, and, and yeah. Brett, who was on the call, who has already heard the first two episodes, yeah. was like, yeah, Kyle, I like you on it. I like you on it. <laughs> and, and it just kind of passed without anybody yeah. commenting on it. We just changed the subject. We moved on. But I thought you might spill the beans of speaking of Kyle's Facebook because he, requ- he asked for podcasts to listen to on a long drive. It was so hard for me not to tell him <laughs> to listen to us talking about him. 
on his long drive. Oof. It was so hard for me not to do that, but I, <laughs> I did it. He, he'll find out. He's going to find out soon. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. He'll love it. He'll love it. He won't. He won't love it. <laughs> and I have closed his Twitter. All right. I feel like that's how I have to transition out of these things. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So we're moving on from Kyle. Then we're going to start talking about our main topic today, which is, is Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. No transitions. <laughs> Smash cut. Smash cut. Halloween. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, maybe we can play, mm-hmm. like, a spooky, scary sound here. I don't want to give you so much work, but... <laughs> yeah, it's dragging and dropping like the scary sound Something in. really cheap. <laughs> Ooh. I'll step on my dog's tail. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't commit animal abuse to get sound effects, you fucking <laughs> lunatic. Jesus. Just saying, I've done it by accident before, and the sound she makes is terrifying. Okay. Mm-hmm. Halloween, Jeff. How do you like it? Let's start. Well, f- sorry. Let's start. First off, what is mm-hmm. Halloween? Tell me what Halloween is. <laughs> get me. Get me in the. Get me in the spirit. <laughs> uh, Halloween uh, is is a uh, is a holiday at least celebrated in the United States, probably elsewhere, where uh, people dress up, people hand out candy, they celebrate. Sorry. Sp- uh, hold on. Spookiness. Let me let me back up. Let me. What I just heard you say was, it's a holiday that we celebrate in the United States and probably in other countries. <laughs> Where people and dress that's up. That's it? Where people, Where people dress, dress up. up. Okay. And what and do they candy's do? candy's handed they... out. Candy's handed out. Yeah. Uh, how? <laughs> well, well, Sean. There's if, just if candy. You're, in the, like, does the government pay for candy in the streets? And then they just, they just hand it out? Yeah. If we're not careful, they will. Seriously, guys. Go out and vote. Um, <laughs> register to vote. This is our, this is our Rock the Vote. Is Rock the Vote a '90s reference again? <laughs> no, no, it's 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 still relevant. They, it's I think it's EDM the Vote now though. Okay, wow. Well, right. uh, <laughs> no, yeah, I mean kids will go out dressed up as uh, characters or spooky things and knock on the doors of neighbors and strangers and demand candy, or else they will put a trick on their house or their person. I mean, okay, I guess I wouldn't phrase it "put a trick on their house" like <laughs> that, that. That felt really weird. <laughs> Like putting a hex or a curse on your yeah. house? Like, is that what a trick is? Oh, I don't know, Sean. Have you ever had to explain Halloween to somebody before? <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like I could have done it really better. No offense. I don't want to put you on blast here. No, no, but... no, no. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. I want to hear your... Hall- Halloween is, is... Hold on. Let me... Let me... <clears throat> oh, yeah. Take a second. You know. Really. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> really so build off of what I gave. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to explain Halloween here. If you No, you're doing, mind. you're doing great. I didn't interrupt when you described Halloween. So <laughs> Halloween is a holiday where people dress up and they, as, as children will go door to door and knock and, and the people living there will hand out candy. Um, or if they're like me, they just don't and ignore knocks at their door on October 31st, the day that Halloween happens every year. Mm, mm. People, Adult people will also dress up in costumes. They could be ghosts or ghouls or goblins. They could be mummies or vampires. <laughs> they could also be sexy versions of anything. Uh, mm-hmm. that's, that's sort of like, a, I guess, some sort of ongoing discussion that the nation is having right now. Is that sexist or not to have sexy versions of costumes for women? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're going to get into it later. Yeah. We're I, not. It, my, bo- my body shape does not allow me to dress up as sexy anything for Halloween. Usually it has to be okay. out of shape something. For Halloween. Okay. So, I mean, that's, that's Halloween. I mean, everybody knows what Halloween is. I don't, ugh, why'd you even try to describe it? <laughs> no, I think you did a great job. It was, how uh, do you like, how do you like Halloween? Do you, is this a, is this a, is this a holiday you enjoy? I mean, enjoy is a strong word. What bothers me about Halloween is, is other people's enjoyment of it. Some people, they go a little too far. You know, they insist on costumes and can't handle it. I may be not going to a party because it's a costume party. Okay. I Just love, so that you don't have to dress up? Yeah, I mean, and here's the thing. I, I'll dress up when it's inappropriate, when I'm not supposed to be dressed up. Something about that expectation, everyone's going to be dressed up. It just seems like uh, seems like a lot, of, a lot of work for a party. Okay. I don't, I don't mind Halloween. Mm-hmm. What I want to do pretty much every day, all day, is sit quietly in a room and not talk to people. And Halloween is a, a holiday that encourages people to come to my house and knock on the door and mm. say, like, please give me candy for free. I'm a child who's dressed up poorly like something stupid. 
I just don't like it. I just, I'm not really yeah. a Halloween guy. I don't like dressing up unless I'm going to a wedding. I don't, yeah. like, I... Uh, it, they start it right as it starts to get dark around a normal time, like at, at like five o'clock. It starts yeah. to get dusk. I'm like, well, let's have all the children walking down the streets. The streets are crowded. Yeah, if I'm you're trying to get home from time, work. Like, oh, you gotta watch God, out it's for so annoying. monsters. Yeah, and I get that they're trying to enjoy themselves or whatever, mm. but you know, <laughs> it's like. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't even really like it as a child. Like I always just felt like I don't I don't want strangers candy. It felt weird to go to people's doors and be like, <laughs> trick or treat. Yeah. And they go, Oh, what are you? And it's like, I'm fucking I'm a child, give me candy, you <laughs> asshole. That's the social contract we've all agreed to. Like, just just do it. I you're, wanna go. I wanna you, go home. You're the adult. You could have stopped this, but you didn't. Okay, now yeah. give me candy. <laughs> Yeah, like, just don't answer the door if you don't want me to, like, interact with you. I'm fine with that. I enjoyed Halloween as, as a kid, but mostly because of my love for candy. I prefer Easter, and that's because you wake up and there's already a basket full of candy there for you. Even you go around the house, there's even candy hidden places. You just reach in, whoop, there's some candy here. Boom. Yeah, that's kind of, like, yeah, that's like an all-day celebration, yeah, too. Like exactly. Like, I gotta wait till dark, I gotta dress up like, like an idiot, and I gotta walk around the neighborhood yeah. to get candy? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. No, who wants that? Nobody wants that. I think as, like, a little kid, I probably was okay with it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I think also, though, as a somewhat, I don't know, maybe, like, seven, eight, nine, ten years of age, mm -hmm. I think I was okay with it. Yeah. Something else that my brother, my brother and I, and then probably I think my mother and father encouraged this, is we dump all our candy out, and then we'd do, like, a, a little trade. Like, if mm -hmm. he didn't like a candy, but I did, I would trade him some candy he liked and I didn't. Mm -hmm. um, what what really ended up happening was that there was just like most of the candy got pooled and then we take a little bit for ourselves and there was just like extra candy for everybody on the kitchen table I don't I don't think we shared that much with the candy in our household I think it was uh, my brother would used to say like oh let's see who got more candy and he'd, we'd pile them up because we weren't going to count all the candy see yeah. his pile was higher his pile was always yeah. higher I, I didn't realize until later in the game that uh, we went to the same houses got the same amount of candy but he was just piling it higher. Yeah, no, I, yeah. He's more dedicated to pretending he had more candy than me. Yeah, I was. That's, that's kind of a weird, uh, weird game. But I mean, that's that's you know that's brothers. They uh, mm -hmm. they gotta have the older brothers gotta make that assertion of power. I fell for it like twice, and then the third year I was like, wait a minute. Remember what you dressed up as? This young boy going to strangers' houses demanding candy. Uh, do I remember? I remember one year I went as uh, Magneto. The, the uh, from the the popular X Men comics, and that was just like a costume bought at a store that was like a shitty cape and a terrible mm -hmm. face mask. Like the, you remember those plastic masks? Yeah, they would like the cut into band. your skin and like they <laughs> just cut up your eyes and your mouth and yeah, you could, oh, see. it was awful. Yeah, oh, and they they smelled like that plastic, and then they would warm up as you're walking mm. around. Oh my god, it's gross. No, no wonder I don't like Halloween. Like, did you like it, Magneto, because he was a villain? Is that why he dressed up as, as a villain? Oh yeah, I've it? always been much more into villains than. I work in a mall, and not near Halloween, but there was a kid after the star, latest Star Wars movie came out. Yeah. Who was dressed as Kylo Ren, and he was he was yeah. stopping everybody that walked by him, and he was putting his hand out like he was gonna like he was choking them, and people yeah. would be like, "Oh my god, that's so cute." I was like, "No, he is trying to kill you." Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> he is trying yeah, to he destroy likes the villain you. Here. He's trying yeah. To, yeah. He, He's out to get you. He he is yeah. trying. He's beating you up with the force, and you are just laughing at it. That is either the best person ever or a serial killer when he grows up, and you're yeah. laughing at it. Should encourage. Should encourage that behavior. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I guess I feel that way too, though, because when yeah. strange children mm -hmm. do stuff like that to me, I will simply not look them in the eye and not acknowledge yeah. them and just keep walking because I don't really? want to engage with it. Do you think it'd be better to creep them out by then actually pretending like you're dying if they, they're trying to Kylo Ren you? Act like you're in pain, like drop to the floor? Oh, shit. That would be a great way. When I'm old and I've decided I'm done with life, you know, I go to the doctor and he's like, it's cancer, man. I'm going to be like, cool, load me up on rat poison. And then just like go to the mall or just, you know, get, you know, I don't know. I don't mm. know. I'm assuming by that time, like the right to die will be an official right as it should be. Don't get me off on a tangent, though. <laughs> Let's not talk politics, okay? It's, it's, we'll, we'll listen next week. I'll, I'll drop some hints for Kyle, see what he posts. <laughs> like, and then just, like, wait for a kid to do something like that, and yeah. then just, like, fucking actually die right in front, really scar that kid for life. <laughs> really mess him up. Dressing up as, like, a villain or a monster, that's normal, right? Because, you know, werewolves, vampires, witches. Yeah, and I mean, I think you're, you're dressing up as, like, a thing you like. If you just like Star Wars, and you think that the bad guy was cool, like, you know, it doesn't necessarily say a thing about you, but... yeah. I hope not. <laughs>
did go as Magneto. I, I mean, I've always preferred villains because I think that's kind of a Halloween thing too. Like, it's not just dress up. It's kind of like the 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 night that quote unquote evil is is allowed to come out, right? So I think sort of enshrining the bad guys is sort of part part of the tradition. Yeah. Did, did you always have uh, store bought costumes? Did you ever end up having a make your own costume like a? Uh, I don't remember ever having costume made for i'm sure my, my mother was kind of crafty you know she yeah. did sew stuff she had a sewing machine i don't know that she ever put that effort in i think it was like <laughs> nah i'd rather just spend ten dollars on a costume at walmart that seems a lot easier <laughs> i i sympathize yeah 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 i i uh, i had a dinosaur mask and, w- and i wanted to go uh as a dinosaur for halloween and uh my parents were like oh, i don't think this is a good costume for that we'll just make one and my uh dad worked mixing chemicals so he had like a, a, a like a clean suit like the all yeah. white one so he brought home two of those and they spray painted it green and then stuffed one of the arms with newspaper cut it off tied it onto the butt of the other one spray painted that green as well and i went as a dinosaur yeah. in that suit and it looked awful it was yeah. just terrible and that's how i knew uh, grown-ups were liars because they always oh look at how nice your costume is and i was like you're a liar you know yeah. just a lot of kids i don't think are you supposed to lie to kids i think you are I Maybe think that's you're normal. supposed to. I typically don't. I, I mean, I, I just don't like. I don't. But then again, I don't like. I'm not around a lot of children all the time, so that it's not like I get a lot yeah. of questions from kids. I think the most I would do is I would just be like, no, you know, I, I don't know. Ask your parents. Yeah. Like really, just be like, nah, I don't know or care. Also, when is a slot machine one year, which was just a box that it, we covered in gold paper, and then that's another box bad. for that's, my arm. That's, that's that's better. That's better than Magneto. That, that was a nice costume. Um, can you hear my dog panting? Because it's. A little bit, it's yeah. right around the time she eats dinner. <laughs> okay. Dude, I mean, if you mind. just want to go feed her, we can just let the <laughs> let the thing record so that we're still synced up. Uh, um, go mind your own business. How about that? <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, but yeah, because she she will not uh, she's not gonna leave me alone otherwise. Hold yeah, on. no, go Sorry. ahead. I'll, okay. I'll sing a little song. <laughs> all, right, there, okay. all right, let's go. All right, Jeff. Jeff took his headset off. I'm not gonna sing a song like I like I said I would. I lied. I lied to Jeff, guys. So I guess that's how you know that I'm willing to lie to children. I mean, in the future, you know, this is going to be, you know, maybe one or two strangers will listen to this. Oh, man, I, his, his microphone's really good. I, can, I know what his apartment looks like. I can hear everything he's doing in other rooms. I hope he starts, I hope he starts talking to himself. Wouldn't that be great, listeners? You and, you and I are on a little adventure on our own. Cool. So you guys, you guys come here often? Secret. Let me, hold on, I gotta, <sighs> trying to help set up. This Dungeons and Dragons game I'm going to be playing in later. We do a round robin DM type thing. It's actually pretty cool, you know. Not usually I'm just DMing all the time, and it's a lot of work. Sometimes the players doesn't seem like they appreciate it. But uh, round robin DMing, we switch off DMing. We do short little story arcs. It's a lot of fun. So, ooh, sounds like you dropped something. It's a lot of fun. So if you play D and D, you should try it out. And if you don't play D and D, you should play D and D. And D and D stands for Dungeons and Dragons. I, have I ever clarified that? Have I just said D and D and then people s- think I'm muttering another word? I'm sorry if that's the case. Dungeons and Dragons is a role playing game that uh, you take on. Oh, hey, Jeff's back. All right, cool. Hey, hey. So, when when did you? Was there a point in your life where you stopped dressing up that you remember? You stopped dressing up for for Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. What age? How old were you? Don't remember the age, but I do remember making fun of other kids that dressed up and went out. Oh, for Halloween. you took that path. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but they were too old to be trick or treating. So, I mean, I'm not gonna say. Yep. Late, <laughs> later on, after I'd stopped, I had I did it one more year. Uh, I would I want to say I was seventeen or eighteen because we took uh, Kyle's little sister out trick or treating, and I was like, well, if we're gonna walk her around, I might as well be in costume and try to get candy as well. And uh, yeah. everybody gave me shit about it to their house, but they all gave me candy still. So yeah. <laughs> so let me let me ask you this: What age do you think people should stop trick or treating? Um. Like when when do you stop being a child? I'm asking this for a reason. <laughs> I'm I'm asking for a friend. Um, I, I want to say like thirteen or fourteen, maybe. Perfect. So so I've always been a bigger kid, not just fat, but also a little bit taller than other people in my age group. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I was I must have been like eleven or twelve, but I was bigger fat wise, like around, and also taller than most other people in my age group. So it looked like I was around fourteen. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would get shit. No. Then, yeah, they'd be like, aren't you a little old? And I'd be like, I'm 12. I don't, is 12 too old? I don't know. Like, other people <laughs> my age were going trick-or-treating. Like, Yeah. It's like, you've got a bowl of candy there. Give me right. one and mind your own business. 
So that that is around when I stopped trick or treating because it was like, okay, well, I yeah. guess all of these asshole adults who used to just give me candy on this one specific day are t- fucking talking shit to me. So I guess I'm done with that because this got <laughs> this got too awkward. This got too uncomfortable for me. Yeah, it's 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 not like you were old enough to have like a good steady income to go buy your own candy, right? D- yeah, that's <laughs> exactly. You're just you're dependent on this. It's part of the welfare it's, system. It's your childhood tax this is mm-hmm. your tribute being a kid sucks <laughs> being a kid sucks so hard it's the worst i don't i don't uh, i'm sure i was happy as a kid but i look back and i'm like man none of that was good <laughs> I, how did i enjoy any of that yeah uh, there, there's that sweet spot before you're officially an adult and after you're a kid where you don't have a lot of responsibilities that uh, you're old enough to make your own money and uh go do shit whenever you want those yeah that's that's the sweet spot for that I don't know, man. You, st- you can't get free candy, though. You know, change is once you get to buy it. Change is once you get to buy it. I, don't. Yeah. I feel like there should be an adult Halloween that's not just let's dress up and five of your friends have a prank, like a joke. Mm-hmm. My my costume is a pun. It's a play on words. Because that's <laughs> shitty. I hate that. I don't like I don't like pun costumes. You don't like pun costumes? Okay. No. I, mean, I, just, I don't think you're alone just, in that. Just go as... Just, just wear a costume. <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah, have to I mean, have people look at you and smile and laugh, and because because that lasts for one second, right? Yeah. And then what? Then what is your costume? There's nothing better in a costume than having to explain it to everybody you run into. Yeah, like. Do you get it? Do you get it? And then if I don't get their costume, <laughs> the pressure's on me, and yeah. I don't like that. I don't like. Yeah, that Yeah, they, they've made it your problem. Yeah. Because you don't want to make it feel you. bad for having a stupid costume. One year, I, I didn't have a punk costume, but I went I went to a party as um, Clark Kent. So I had a little bit of red sticking out of the back of my shirt, like a little yeah. red fabric. I had a notepad in my pocket with the Daily News. And people were like, oh, oh my God, are you uh, you from Rushmore? You're that kid from Rushmore? I said, no. I said, no, I'm, I'm Clark Kent. And they go, oh. And that, that was the end of my subtle costume days. Well, okay, so you stopped dressing up. Is there mm-hmm. a point at which you ever picked up dressing up again? Did you go? Have you ever gone to like when you were an adult? I just dressed up as Iron Man recently to a friend's uh, birthday party. It's a superhero okay. themed. They encouraged dressing okay. up. Well, that's and different. Thought... That's different. That's different. <laughs> we're recording more than a week before Halloween, so that doesn't count. You did not dress up for Halloween. You dressed up for a costume party. That's true. Yeah, I mean, other than that time when I was like seventeen or eighteen, when I helped just bring Kyle's sister around for trick treating. Yeah. Where I went, went as a Christmas tree. I don't think I, other than maybe some parties, I might have might have dressed up because it was it was mandatory for these mm-hmm. costume parties. But I can't remember what I went as or, or or how that how that went. Yeah, I um we have we have a mutual friend who was born on Halloween, and yeah. she has like birthday party Halloween party type things right out, right out of college, maybe a couple of years after college. I, I don't keep track of her life and when she accomplishes things because I'm a terrible friend. <laughs> she she would have movie nights. And I and through those movie nights, I get to know a couple of the other people she was friends with. From time to time, she'd have Halloween parties. Why did I say from time to time? About once a year, on or near Halloween. Jesus. She'd have a Halloween party. And one year, I remember I went as Catula. I just put on cat ears and put on a mm-hmm. Dracula cloak. Catula. Uh, yes. And I just wore a white t-shirt and jeans because I just don't care. I just don't, <laughs> don't want to put any effort into it. Like... Yeah, that sprung a whole uh, string of years where a bunch of us would just go as cats by having cat ears. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we had at one <laughs> at one party we had like six or seven people dressed up as cats <laughs> in cat ears. We went as like a herd of cats. Yeah, it was kind of a group costume thing that I was really into. And I, the, yeah, the, the other aspect of the of the costume mm-hmm. is that when any one of us at any point during the night would start going cats, 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 cats. Everyone else, anywhere in the party that they were doing, would also have to do that. So we had like a cat chant yeah. that would just spontaneously yeah. burst out from time to time to confuse strangers. It was a lot of fun. And then I know we had thought about trying to do other uh, group costumes that would be equally as annoying. We had a lot of really bad ones. <laughs> like going as a mosh pit, right? Like, Well, see, I was going to say that was one of the good ones. I really liked that. We were going to go as a mosh pit that would spontaneously break out yeah. at the party, so we would just like be near people and then just start jumping around. Yeah, there would be a group people of people pushing something around. My favorite, my favorite group costume idea that we came up with yeah. was that we were going to go as the VIP section of that party. Yes. <laughs> we were going to have probably that same five or six people. Yeah. Uh, that went as the cat group costume, and we were gonna get, just get like a velvet rope with those little stands <laughs> yeah. to string the rope between, like you'd see in a bank or a yeah. fancy banquet hall in a movie. And we were just gonna like 
we were just going to square that up around ourselves. And then if, like, one of us had to go to the bathroom, we'd pick up the stands. We'd all walk to the bathroom. We'd block off the door to the bathroom with the velvet <laughs> rope. And then all of us would stand outside while that one person went to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I mean... We'd- there's still time. There's still time for this. We, well, here's the thing. We, like, we collectively, as a group of friends, never go to the same Halloween party anymore. Like, I, I largely dodge out of it. I just don't want to go to a Halloween party, period, in general. So I'm just yeah. usually like, no, I don't want I to. I think last year I didn't get invited to any, and maybe the year before. <laughs> Which means my persistence is paying off. I'm, my, yeah, I've, <laughs> yeah. I'm totally what, okay with whatever, that. Whatever you're doing is working. It's working, yeah. I can't think... I don't know... I don't know that I've ever seen a costume where I was like, that costume is amazing. In person, I mean. I've seen pictures yeah. of people who like, oh, I built a giant suit of Iron Man armor and I can walk in it. And like, yeah, all right, whatever. I don't care. You have too much time on your hands. That tells me. <laughs> there's a point, right? If you go into like a just a Halloween party and it's a costume party, there's too little you can do and there's too much you can do. You know what I mean? Yeah. You shouldn't overdo it. I, I, I always have thought of it kind of like a, um, what do you call them? Secret Santa, yeah. right? Like, they set, they're like, okay, Secret Santa, $20. You want to spend around $20 or not much more than $20. Right. Like, that's, and, and how do you know? That? The thing is, you don't know that until you show up to the party. You know, if I show up to the party <laughs> yeah, and I'm you dressed don't, you like... Don't know how well you're doing. Yeah, you never know. It's like, <laughs> I'm not going to go into a social situation blind, dressed up like something that I am expecting other people to get or that I'm expecting everyone else to be dressed at the same level of effort. Yeah. I can't do that. I can't do that. I just yeah. don't want to do it. It's, it's, it's out of control. Do you want to spend extra money to go to this party and be uncomfortable most of the night? Yeah, sure. It's a Halloween exactly. party. Yeah. Now, I don't, I don't want to talk about it too much here, but I do have a <laughs> bunch of spare costumes because I go to weddings in costume. Mm, mm-hmm. So I guess those could serve double duty, but I just would rather save the costumes for weddings. It just seems more, I don't know. Yeah. I wanted to say more appropriate. It's definitely not, but... Yeah, it's not, not appropriate to go. Not at all. Mm-mm. <laughs> All right, yeah, now I have officially run out of things to say about <laughs> Halloween. I just Halloween. Like I said, my favorite part of Halloween was the candy. No transitions. Candy. <laughs> so this week, and we prom- mm-hmm. Oh man, listeners, we promised you a big surprise towards the end of this this o- this uh, M- this up. G. So the candy that we are talking about this week. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't I actually don't know if this is actually how it's supposed to be pronounced. I've always called them Necco wafers. Me, me too. Me too. Okay. Yeah, Necco wafers. Yeah. Necco wafer. N e c c o, and then a wafer. Like mm-hmm. it's a little, little tablet. It looks like a little Tums tablet has been flattened out. So it's a little, like thin Tums tablet. It turned. Did you know? Did you do any research here, Jeff? I didn't do any research other than what I read off the packaging. Now mine says produced with genetic engineering. I did not know that. Yeah, it says made in the USA since 1847. Right underneath that, produced with genetic engineering. That wasn't the cool thing I was gonna say. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, mm-hmm. Neco is is actually an acronym. Uh, they're they're they are made by the New England Confectionery Company. Oh, damn. Yeah. So that that is so Neco wafers are actually New England Confectionery Company wafers, <laughs> which is kind of a grim name for a candy. Yeah. It's very official sounding. Yeah. So Necco wafers, if you've never seen them, they are thin, flat discs. They kind of look like quarters. They're about the size of a quarter, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah. Mine were maybe maybe a little smaller, but about the size of a quarter, yeah. Maybe a little smaller, but around that size. Uh, There's there's different colors. Each color is a different flavor. Jeff, how how did you... I have a bunch of... I I did a little research, so I have a bunch of facts about Necco wafers. You got facts about Necco wafers. Why don't don't Uh, you tell me how you like them? I don't ever go out of my way to eat a Necco wafer, but I will will eat them. I enjoy them, except for like the green color. Lime. Uh, yeah, like the orange and the purple and the pink. It's all good. I, I, I like it. I mean, like I said, I'm not going out of my way. I, I, yeah. I, I won't uh, consume these the rate I'll consume other candy, but I will enjoy one or two. Uh, I know? have always been a big fan of Necco wafers. They were a childhood really? favorite of mine. What about the Necco wafer do you enjoy? They were like little sugar tablets with flavor. Mm-hmm. And I just felt like, let's cut through the bullshit, you know? <laughs> the sugar's what I want. It's just candy. Just give let's... me that. Stamp it out into a little tablet, and I'll, I'll crunch it up. I also, here's the other thing. I like crunchy candies. You do, I like yeah. I like crunchy food, period. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so, now, do you, so you, you crunch that. on this right away, or do you put it in your mouth and just, I don't want to say that, suck on it for a little bit? Okay, let me, it's not a fucking communion wafer, like I'm in goddamn Catholic Church. Do you I suck put it in my mouth and I bite wafers? down on it. No, I don't suck on a Necco wafer. What? All right. I'm just asking. I mean, I wasn't sure All what right. the, what the sorry, good I'm way s- to do it. And then c- just s- just to just back up, do you suck on communion wafers? You're supposed to hold them in your mouth and then the dude, and least, that, not the, yeah. the dude he does like <laughs> the, the blessing. And then you're like, I think it's, I think it's supposed, I thought it was supposed to dissolve in your mouth. I thought it, I thought it was like a cracker. Yeah, well, it's like the Well, it's, it's the body of Christ. Is, <laughs> yes. Through 
the miracle of transubstantiation. You are eating human flesh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, and technically, human flesh is supposed to melt human, in your mouth. Divine. Okay. Half human, half divine. Flesh, which which so. which part of that melts in your mouth? I, d- I don't know. The chocolate, <laughs> not the candy shell. I would convert to Catholicism if they handed out candy during their ceremonies. Oh my God, that would that would be. You could just get a little Necco wafer. They already have the Easter Bunny. He's doing most of the candy work for you there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jeff, make a note, Jeff. Can you get the Pope on the phone right after this call? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Right after. I'll let the Pope know. I got it. Get my man the Pope. Did you see, I'm sorry to get back a little bit on like world news politics in our candy segment. Did you see that the cool Pope is not as cool as we thought he was? Oh, no. Does he have some old fashioned views? (laughs) Uh, oh, I mean, I did. Who would have thought that, like, the dude at the top of this extremely conservative organization yeah. had who, some? Who would think a man over the age of seventy years old, who is the top of the Catholic organization, would have some outdated or old views? Well, I mean, you know, outdated—that's your political view. But <laughs> yeah, I think he—I think he said some stuff about like, no, no gay marriage. Ugh. I mean, like the, the, like, yeah, I think it might have even been something more like the church doesn't condone it, which is kind of even a step back from no gay marriage. Yeah, but, well, um, here's, the, here's the thing. Did he mean that in, like, state level, the government level, like, legally married? Or did he mean, like, in Catholic church, married in the eyes of his God? Oh, I, f- I don't know or care. It's, <laughs> right. I mean, obviously he has no, like, direct power to be like, government shouldn't do this thing, but right. that's not really where his power comes from. <laughs> yeah. It's also none of his business. <laughs> well, I think the point that... Well, I'm not going to argue the Pope side to you. You know what's... You. You do it. I'm not going to do it. Do it. Can I just say I love their robes? I wish I was a cardinal because I w- if I could just wear bright red robes everywhere yeah. I went with this huge <laughs> pimp hat. Yeah, I'm not normally a hat guy, but... I'm not really either, but amazing. you see these old white men wearing these pimp hats <laughs> in bright scarlet robes and they got like these gold staffs. Yeah. They look like fucking, the thing is, they look like fucking wizards, and I desperately want to be a wizard. And also, can wizards be real? And also, can I be one, please? I want it. I want it so bad. Jeff, I want it so bad, I can taste it like the sweet, sweet flavors of a Necco wafers. <laughs> so, Necco wafers also come, they come in like a, mm-hmm. it's like a roll of quarters, which is why I said they're about quarters. Yeah, it comes in like a wax paper roll. Wax paper roll. Um, there are, I think, seven or eight flavors. Eight flavors, it says here on their Wikipedia page. Lemon... Lemon, lime, orange, yeah. clove. Cinnamon. Clove, I also hate. Uh, you said you like purple, though. That's the clove. That's the clove one? Yeah. I'll revisit it. I'll revisit okay. it. Cinnamon, which uh, yeah. was the white Cinnamon one. Cinnamon was good. Wintergreen, yeah. licorice, and chocolate. Which was, Chocolate was brown. I did not have a brown one in my roll of Necco wafers. Really? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I wonder if they guarantee that you get every flavor in every roll. There was like six green ones. Yeah, maybe you don't. Oh, I didn't know. We should write to Necco Wafers and find out. Can you Drive down to Cambridge that? tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring it up with the Pope, uh, see what he thinks. But I think, yeah, they, they, they I, li- I liked Necco Wafers. Now, now you said that the, the company had been around since 1847. It says made in the USA since 1847. So, so I would assume they, if they're the New England Confectionery Company, that's probably the when New they England, started. No, the New England Confectionery Company did not exist then. In its current form, uh, the New England Confectionery Company is actually like a conglomerate. They they uh, like three I think different candy companies combined into the New England Confectionery Company. One of them had already from the from that from 1847 been producing uh, Necco wafers in in one form or another. Okay. I think they were so, called. Uh, I think on their website they were said they were called hub wafers because they look like little hubs, right? So they were like, it, I, I, from what I read, it looks like they were the same shape essentially. Another interesting fact: 1847 uh, was actually yeah. So Civil War soldiers carried hub wafers, the, the precursor to, to Necco wafers. They like the, this is the, we just ate a candy that <laughs> that goes back to the Civil War. How do you manufacture a candy on mass? When was uh, the Civil before War? the like, Industrial in Revolution? The 1860s? 1861 <laughs> to 1865, Wikipedia tells me. Wow. Wow. So yeah, the, the, the Necco wafers actually existed before the Civil War. That's such that's so crazy to think about. I'm sure there's a ton of stuff that has though that we don't ever think about, right? Sure. Grass. Okay, well that's not <laughs> First off, first off, are you sure? I'm not sure. No. I'm not sure. I don't okay. have Wikipedia open. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. You should Wikipedia grass. Just see how long it's been around. Uh, soldiers in World War II also carried it. 
Wow, this Not is really kind of like a war candy. Is it because um, things like chocolate would melt in their backpacks or something? They'd have these I, little wafers. I did not see. I did not see a reason. I couldn't find like why the government, because the government asked them like, "Hey, make Necco wafers for soldiers." I could not find it. I didn't look very deep into it. And let me just skim this Wikipedia article again. Now you said the Civil War and World War Two. What happened to World War One? So the World War Two thing is that the government asked, or maybe even mm. ordered Necco to make them for soldiers overseas. Maybe they just didn't ask them in World War One. You know what I mean? Like maybe maybe soldiers carried them. Maybe we didn't. Hey, listeners, if you fought in World War One, why don't you write to us at uh, our email, which Jeff, Jeff is going to give you right now, and let us know if uh, you heads, carried heads Necco wafers. Pod. Sorry, go ahead. Heads up pod at gmail.com. Let us know yeah. if you carried Necco wafers during World War One. We'd, we'd, and let, if you let us know, we'll add it to the Wikipedia page. We have that power. Yeah, we're really, we're really tight with, who'd you say runs uh, Wikipedia? Is it Julian Assange? Was it Julian Assange? Does he run Wikipedia? I don't. I don't. Here's the thing. I don't remember. I don't know if he does or not. I don't know. I, no, I think he doesn't. But I definitely know that I don't know what I said last time we recorded. <laughs> I definitely don't remember my own words. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely true. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. I saw this in the store. Um, You can just buy the chocolate Necco wafers in a roll by themselves. Really? Yeah. Wow. I could not find them in the store. I had to go online. Uh, what? Yeah, mine. yeah. What? How? What? I'm sorry. Where did you look? I'm sorry. I stopped at the Walton store, uh, Walmart, and then I went to a uh, Target you know store. Friends with a family. <laughs> okay, no, so like it's well I, established. You gotta go to like a pharmacy, like a CVS. CVS gonna have the Necco wafers. For me, they had them. Uh, you know how they had like arranged candy right in front of the, uh, registers. the registers. Yeah. Right at like child eye level site, so that uh, the kid will throw a tantrum and get the candy. Yeah. Just the one right in town had a whole bunch. I got like four rolls. I ate three of them that day, and then I had like sugar sores on my tongue. <laughs> like, I, I just, I had it, yeah. so much sugar on my mouth. It did some, like, I didn't enjoy that part. But boy, I love shoving those fucking up. wafers in my stupid gob. Wow. I love them. I, I love Necco wafers. I'm pro Necco wafer. I pretty much have, uh, I think, about 20 rolls. I had to order them in a bulk. I'll bag. buy some from you. Dollar a roll. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'd be making a profit. Okay. You can oh, well, you it, bought you can in bulk, man. Happen. This is that the hey this benefits. <laughs> so yeah. let me let me ask you this: <clears throat> Valentine's Day, right? We already talked about mm. uh, Halloween, a holiday, Valentine's Day. <laughs> you know those little candy hearts? Yeah. Guess who makes them? Is it Neko? Neko makes those too. Yeah. Shit. Because <laughs> actually, they make uh, they make a bunch of. I mean, I know we're getting off Neko wafers. They mm. also make something called Mary Jane's. Oh yeah, yeah. That's like a. It's like a. That's a chewy candy, isn't it? It's like chewy. It's like I think it's like peanut it's like butter brown. and caramel. I, yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I've ever had them. But or yeah. maybe those. I don't know. I don't know. People have handed them out for Halloween before. I don't think I like them. But, yeah, uh, I, lo- I love. Ne- I love Necco wafers. I just. I want Necco wafers <laughs> to be made forever. <laughs> Seems like they're gonna be because they're not stopping and somebody's buying them. I am. You're buying. So them. actually, actually, I have not had Necco wafers in probably seven or eight years until like this week. And they're still around. They're still around, and they're gonna be around until the end of the next American Civil War. Thanks That's sorry, I just got, I just got an email from the president of the Neko Company. That's what he said. That's what he wrote. That this is not slander. I have an email to back it up. Definitely a hundred percent. You have to take this seriously. No, I'm kidding. Of course, I would never send an email or receive one. What's funny is I know it's the name is an acronym, but the president of Neko currently is is James Neko. That's not true. <laughs> I forgot you had the Wikipedia page up. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I thought. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so bullshit. They've been around since 1847. They'd make more than just Necco wafers, candy hearts, and Mary Janes. Well, I'm sure they do. I just you want me to open up their? I'll go to their website. You can. I'm the candy hearts must be keeping them in business, right? And they're making Necco oh, wafers wh- just who, to be like. Who has not had way too many candy hearts every fucking year? People just buy them. They don't even eat them. They just buy these bags of candy hearts. As Jeff, as a man, as a fat man who suffers from mm-hmm. from chronic singleness, <laughs> from chronic loneliness, from chronic yeah. lonely hearts disease, like I don't celebrate <laughs> Valentine's Day. I don't give a shit about it. It's a nothing holiday right. that I don't care about. Somehow, I feel like every year I have candy hearts, and I don't know why. Yeah, you're not buying them, right? Are they addictive? <laughs> Do they remind you of Necco wafers? Is that why? No, I would just buy Necco wafers. I'm gonna raise no fool. Oh shit! Necco makes a ton of fucking candy, man. Come on. Clark bars, candy buttons, peach blossoms, Canada wintergreens, Canada peppermints, banana splits. Oh, okay. So all the ones in squirrel nut, 
zippers, slapsticks what? with an X, sweethearts, and wafers, and then Mary Janes, Mighty Malts, Sky Bars. Some of these have different versions. So Clark Bars, King Sized, Milk Chocolate Clark Bar Bites, <laughs> Milk Chocolate Clark Minis, Milk Chocolate Clark Bar Junior. They make a lot of candy that's not as popular as other candy. It's crazy. Who is president of the Neko Company? Sean. Ooh, it's still well, Barack Obama. And I meant of the... See, well, see, this is why I clarify when we talk in Kyle's click about people running for president. Because I know we're going to talk about other presidents. Uh, Boston Magazine has an article from 2015. New president and CEO, Michael McGee. I've run out of things to say about candy, but Necco wafers. Me too. Now, Sean, how do you wrap up this podcast? What well, do we usually, say at the end of this podcast? Usually we thank the listeners for listening. Because it, mm. I mean, it was nice of them to listen. I hope they got something out of it. I'm pretty confident they didn't. I mean, we explained what Halloween was, so, man. That's true. Yeah, if you didn't know what Halloween was, or if you know any of your friends don't know what Halloween is, why don't you let them? No. Why don't you sit them down, put some headphones on them, make them listen to this podcast? <laughs> as long as, as long as I teach somebody something. So we thank people for listening. Yep. Uh, we give them our Twitter handle, right? Which is at you Heads that? Up I, Pod. Could yeah. You, could you do it? Could you do it when I'm not talking over you? <laughs> like, how about right now? At Heads Up Pod. Great. Nailed is it. What? Is our Twitter handle? Yeah. What is it? At Heads Up Pod. What is that? It's a, it's a Twitter handle okay. on, on Twitter.com. Uh, at Heads Up Pod is our Twitter what handle. what it is and then what it's for. I'm sorry. I explain to you what you want from me one more time. So we have a, a Twitter account if you want to tweet at us. You want to yeah. tweet blast our stacks. It's uh, <laughs> at Heads Up Pod is the, uh, is the Twitter handle. We also have uh, a, an email address, which uh, it's a Gmail account. Jeff's going to mm-hmm. tell you what that is right now. Our Gmail account is headsuppod at gmail.com. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Is that everything? I don't think we have any other... No, I mean... Yeah, that's fine. I don't think we... If, if they're listening to this, they've already found where to get this podcast, so I don't think we need to tell them that it's available okay. on SoundCloud, well, I just, I wanna, here's, on YouTube, here's, here's, I want, and through yeah, iTunes. Yeah, it, it is on YouTube, right? It's on so there. If you have questions or comments, you can uh, send uh-huh. us hate mail or hate tweets. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and leave a review on iTunes? I've heard people say that helps. Does it? I have no ex- I have no experience in it, but every okay. podcast I've ever heard that talks about iTunes, they say it helps. All right. Uh, well, you're the expert here, so. <laughs> that's that's troubling. We talked about how to close the podcast out, but we, I mean, yeah. we never actually directly. Th- thank you for listening, listeners. Yeah, you, we Jeff, never Would we never you also like it. to thank them? Would you also like to directly thank them instead of saying we should thank them? <laughs> I would like to thank them. I would okay. directly want to okay. thank anyone who's listened to this podcast. Okay. Um, what? Why don't you take a moment right now to do that? Hey, thanks for listening to this podcast. Yeah, you sounded um, like a pervert. I see why you're hesitant. <laughs> um, it was, ooh, I got, I got what cold exa- sweats. I was really what, uncomfortable there. What exactly about my voice made it sound like a pervert? I don't know. What was, what was the... Just, uh, I don't, go, ahead, go ahead and say it again. Go ahead and say it again. I'd like to thank everyone for listening to our podcast. Oh my God, dude. You're coming <laughs> on really strong. You're coming on really strong there. Like, you, you do it. You do it. Just You do it. Oh, you want me to thank them? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> podcast land. I just wanted to take an opportunity to whisper mm-hmm. in your ear. Mm-hmm. Say thanks for listening to us. This wow. has been Heads Up Pod. I'm Sean. Uh, I'm Jeff. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what I, I mean. If you, unless you want to be like a fucking phantom of the opera. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna say do we have a do we have a sign off? Do we have a? No, we need to we need to mark that. We need to like get those things on lockdown okay we sign what's off like what a, what's like a good um it's like a good sign off um <clears throat> this is this is this has been the heads up pod i'm 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 sean I, i'm jeff until next time toodaloo <laughs> <laughs> is that did that do it for you it's too formal i'd, I'd prefer it's toodles too- Toodles. Oh, okay. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do? We'll do one of each. We'll see. Oh, you want me to do a take? You want me yeah, to do a take? Yeah, do a take. Yeah. All right. All right. So, yeah. This, this has been so. uh, Heads Up with Jeff and Sean. I'm, I'm Jeff. I'm, I'm Sean. Thanks for listening. Couldn't. And until next time, toodles. Is that, is that how you want it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you said it kind of like a pervert. I don't. It was. <laughs> so <you're, good. laughs> hey guys, this is Brett. Um, recording a little little side piece for heads up uh thanks thanks sean and jeff for for letting me join i did miss the call 
because I live in California and you guys said we're gonna do it at 5 p.m. And so I did it at 5 p.m., which was 8 p.m. for you guys. You guys had finished the call. So I figured it's a great way to start and I would just I would just try to riff, riff a little bit. So uh, I know you guys do the candy thing. I don't have any candy, but I did make these kale chips with a little drizzled in olive oil and garlic. Figured it'd probably be about the same thing, so I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat one, and I'm gonna talk about it. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, first thing I'd say, it's delicious. Uh, I feel good. I'm actually gonna have another. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I know it's not the same as the candy thing, but I also I didn't use coconut oil. I used olive oil, which is gonna, you know, a little less healthy for me. So uh, I'm being bad. I'm kind of right there with you guys. Um, all right. Pushing on, I know you guys do something with Kyle and what he's doing on the internet, so I got my computer here. I was going to check up on that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Facebook. Okay. Ooh, 3.9 thousand people are talking about the Cuper belt? What is that? Get a quick detour here. Um, ooh, new... Planet. It's been found in our solar system. A micro planet. New Pluto. Pluto gets a buddy. A new dwarf planet is discovered in our solar. That's a funny headline. I hope Kyle's talking about that. Um, I'm not even gonna check Kyle's thing because I doubt he's talking about that. Because he's probably talking. He likes to keep a little more grounded, a little more planet earthy. Um, which is fine. It's just, it's, I'm excited about this new planet. I don't know if they named it. It looks like they named it something with a bunch of letters and numbers. Oh yeah, here we go. Called 2014UZ224. It's only about 330 miles across. They didn't do kilometers, so this is clearly an American article. Um, huh. Yeah. All right, well, uh, Kyle might be talking about that. He might just not have posted it yet, so maybe I'm just kind of seeing it from the future. But, yeah, that's my quick little few minutes. Thanks for having me, guys, and I can't wait till next time. Um, I'm going to sign off with a, another kale chip here. Mm.